Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Twitch, Facebook, uh, YouTube, wherever you're seeing this. I'm here chilling in VR. It's Eddie at Falibu Productions. Uh, I'm messing around with some uh, streaming you know, capabilities today. Uh, chilling over here in a public room with uh, my boy Haji, who's also in the, the Twitch channel. Uh, you know, and so we're just chilling. I decided I, I would set up a public room in case anybody else wanted to learn this stuff. Also, they could come and chill in with me in VR while I'm doing this tutorial live on Twitch. Uh, so the first thing you're going to notice on this uh, stream is uh, I've set up my screen pretty generically, but it's just to show you, you know, how you can do it. I've got the mirror set up on the right hand side of uh, OBS, and that's going to show my left eye. So you're going to see what I see, uh, what my actual eyeball sees, not what I see in VR, but what my actual physical eyeball sees. And then in the top left-hand corner, you're going to see this is my actual Twitch uh, chat stream. And that is uh, – I have it as a pop-out box over here on Twitch. And uh, I, I made a video. You can, you, know, you can find it here. Hey, hey, Jared. Hey. Sorry. I'm, I'm, this is a family show. I got family running around. My little boys will randomly pop in. What's going on, Jared? But, okay, well, Mom will bring him back in in a minute. He's probably using the restroom. Okay, so this video, I just made it. It's called How to Interactive Stream on VR. Amazing. Uh, it's a good video. Go check it out. Uh, I'll probably put a link in the description. The, the problem with the video is that, uh, you know, I'll play it here and mute it. It shows the perspective that... Uh, it's seeing what my in VR headset sees, not what my actual eyeball sees. So I'm making this video to clarify on how to use uh, how to use Open VR desktop display portal in conjunction with Twitch and OBS. Uh, and keep it all running simultaneously while you're streaming your feed on whatever media you're streaming it. Because this little box that I have here that you can see, this uh, this can be anything that's open on your uh, on your on your desktop. Right now, I have it set up to be my Twitch chat, you know, box that I have over here. This is exactly what it is. And but it could easily be a movie. It could easily be Facebook Messenger. It could be a website. It could be a video. Uh, you know, it could be anything you can imagine that you would like to have with you inside of VR that whatever application or game you're playing doesn't already support. So, uh, and then here in the bottom left-hand corner, you're gonna see me and uh, my one-year-old Jace or my two-year-old Jace. Hey, Jace. Uh, and that's my webcam using APOC cam and an iPhone and uh, APOC cam HD. Uh, so it doesn't have the watermarks. I got it for six ninety nine on the Apple Store, and uh, it turns my iPhone into a webcam that I'm streaming here to you, so that you can hear my baby screaming along with me. Uh, I'm so glad that I could share that with you. So anyway. Uh, Here's the tutorial, and really the meat of this tutorial is what settings I'm using to get it to work the way I'm using it. Now, uh, this is set up perfectly so that wherever my hand goes, it is snapped to my hand. Okay? Now, you can see this uh, here on the stream. You can see this right now. Oh, I need to get out of this video. Sorry about that. Let me go back to the live feed. Let me make sure you can see it. Yeah. Oh, it's going to make me watch an ad to watch my own stream. But, uh, yeah, you can see that it's attached to my hand. Hey, guys, calm down. Calm down. Y'all share. Share. Okay. So, anyway, uh, back to... OpenVR desktop display portal. If you want to see it the way I'm seeing it, this is what you're going to want to do. You need these settings right here. Let me let me adjust my let me adjust my screen so that you can see it better, but you need these settings right here. Let me maximize this. Uh, let me minimize or let me just move that. Uh, so these are the settings that you're going to want. I have it set for left controller. Now, on the x-axis, which is going to move it left to right, uh, you're going to want to set that to 0.25. 
uh, for the y axis to move it up and down on a, on a, on a plane, you're going to want to set that to 0.12. Uh, here you go. Let me see. Let me open that for you guys. Oh, yes. Babies want popsicles because they need more sugar. That's the problem. You guys don't have enough sugar. Okay. I apologize for the delay, but this is what happens when you run a family show. There you go. You're welcome. What is it? I don't know. Let's find out together. What is it? Oh, it's... Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry about that delay. Uh, so anyway, back to the tutorial. You're going to want to leave your Z... Uh, we just finished up with the Y axis, uh, if you're just tuning in. Uh, these are the settings you're going to want to get if you want to display a window in VR with you in uh, any VR environment I go to. This is going to follow me. Uh, so again, the X axis, you're going to want to set it to 0.25. The Y axis, you're going to want to set it to 0.12. Uh, the z-axis, that's uh, to forward and back, uh, you know, this way. And you're going to want to you're gonna wanna leave that at zero. So, uh, oh, hey, I'm sorry, I'm blocking your screen, right? Uh, so anyway, you're going to want to, uh, yeah, I got some other people in with, here with me. Hey, this boy, Chris, I'm, uh, I'm streaming in here live right now. Uh, then that's what you can see there on the big screen. Uh, so anyway, no, it's not on the big screen right now, but anyway. Okay, so... On the x-axis, uh, this is to rotate it back and forth. But as you can see, it's not perfectly lined up on, uh, on the rotation, but it's close enough that when I'm looking at it like this, it's perfectly fine. Now you're going to leave uh, the other two uh, options at zero. And over here, you're going to want to go over this thing right here controls the scale of the overlay. Because if you're following along and doing this with me in the tutorial, you're going to notice that this thing is huge. So you may have wanted to do this first. But uh, you're going to want to set the scale to point, 0 0.2. And uh, that's going to bring it down and make it this size. Now, once you've got it this way, you're going to want to save it as something. So you're going to enter a name here, and you're going to save it. I saved mine as hand mount. I didn't save it as Twitch box because, uh, you know, it could be anything. I'm going to use this all the time when I'm working, when I'm playing, when I'm streaming, when I'm not. You know, I'm going to leave uh, Facebook Messenger open so that my girlfriend can call me in VR. Or, you know, I'll leave the Vive. You know, the Vive thing is connected to my phone. I'll leave that open. Uh, and I, I basically have allowed myself to have a portal to my desktop open and attached to my hand at all times uh, for any reason that you can imagine. Uh, so that's it, you know. And this is live. This is happening right now. Uh, Haji, you still here, buddy? No? no. I think it's – yeah. Uh, go ahead and just type yeah, to me no. real quick in here so that people can see that this is working live. Uh, <laughs> Have your, uh, yeah, see that. Yeah, I just uh, I just put a message in there and it popped up immediately. Uh, I'll put a different message. Hi. Yeah, and that popped up right there. It popped up right here. It popped up in the stream box. You know, it popped up everywhere. It's on a little bit of a delay, but it's gonna pop up there here pretty soon in a second. Uh, yeah, see there. Haji said, "Hey," it popped up on my hand and it popped up right here. And so this does work. And again, you know, I'll, I'll leave links in the description. Which you're gonna want to use. I mean, you can find the OBS in a different uh, in a different tutorial. But what you're gonna need is this OpenVR Desktop Display Portal, and that's it. Your your VR ready device and computer. Okay, so I hope this guy's helped. Uh, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, I hope you found it informative or entertaining. Uh, if you did, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Uh, you know, if there was parts of it that you didn't like. Leave any of that in the comment section, and I'll definitely, if maybe there's something I missed, uh, I'll definitely try to address it in another video. So uh, you guys take it easy, and uh, I'll get back at you next time. Thanks.